What's up guys, this is Arcade CA here, bringing you another World of Tanks video. Um, I wanted to get this out much sooner than, you know, the timeline expected, but, uh, college just got so overwhelming with studying and exams, I just couldn't get to making this video. Also, I wanted to collect on a few tanks that were released during the updates that I wanted to share with you guys, so it's finally here, and now I want to show you my updated garage. First off, T-34 Tier 8 American Heavy Premium Tank. In its new setup, the T-34 is now the hardest hitting Tier 8 Heavy even better than the IS-3 with the BL-9 which I find to be kinda of funny cause uh, Russian heavies um, have the highest caliber guns compared to the Germans or US tanks so <laughs> but it's not all that great because you know to balance these abilities the gun was made incredibly inaccurate uh, well, I shouldn't say inaccurate, but the aiming time on it is utter shit, and the rate of fire was cut drastically to make up for its, you know, damage that it can do. Uh, also, to make this tank really worth playing, you're gonna have to do a lot of work to it. As you can see, I got stabilizer, rammer, and vents, and also got the Brothers in Arms perk to you know help out with all its deficiencies and with all that it it's it's pretty good you know the gun isn't terrible when you put all this stuff together but eh, it's still good the income on it is pretty good I've had a few hundred K plus matches in it and I thought to myself wow this is pretty cool because I never experienced a, a premium tank before you know I never bought a low or a kv5 or a type 59 so, it's pretty nice. It helps me maintain my other higher tier tanks that are more expensive. You know, it's pretty good. Next up, the T110 Tier 10 American Heavy. Replace the T30. This is my baby. I love it. It's a fantastic tank. I do thank Wargaming for not, you know, bitch slapping us in the long run with giving us another shitty American tank to play. Mm. First off, before I go into this tank, any accusations that the American heavies are OP is bullshit. Um, the tank balances itself with its super heavy front armor, and, you know, to balance that, it's given weaker than dirt, paper sides, and rear armor. Not to mention, you got this whole weak spot called the turret hatch, which is a big wampin' target for anybody to hit, and it's that's not nice. But uh, the gun on it, not the alpha I was hoping for, but the rate of fire more than makes up for that. This gun is incredibly accurate, it's fast, and wicked high penetration, and even more so, I'm dangerous because I have the dead eye perk on this bad boy, and so I can rip apart enemy tanks with ease simply by, you know, striking at their sides and, you know, destroying their gun, blowing up their ammo rack. It's pretty nice. Uh, very nice contender for tier 10. I really like this tank. Uh, don't touch it, Wargaming. Just leave it alone. It's good the way it is. I'm going to go over the T-30 in its tank destroyer state. Since the last time I went over it, it was a tier 10. Um, in its tank destroyer state, I b do believe it's right where it should be. The weak hull armor is a dead giveaway. So, um, the now that it's a TD, it can survive a little better in combat because it, it's able to hide a little bit better. The gun is very pleasing. The damage on it hasn't changed. Nothing's changed on the T-30 except its health and turret rotation. 
to balance the fact that it's a turreted TD. Um, you know, you, just like before you hit someone with this, you're going to knock off a good 50 to 60% of their health easily. Very high damaging gun. It's very pleasing. I love it. Uh, don't touch the T30 either. It's very nice. I like it. I went over the T95 in my last video, but I'm going to go over it again because it's epic and I love it. T95 tier 9 turret list tank destroyer on the American he or on the American turret TD line, sorry. Um slow as balls, impossible frontal armor. There's only really two weak spots on the front armor, a lower glacial plate down there and the commander's hatch. Same gun you get on the T30, the T7 155mm cannon. Um I just love driving this thing. It's amazing, you know. Uh, statistically, it's my best tank. And oh, and by the way, my crew beats all of your crew. The research on the fourth skill, like now, there's probably a few others that have, oh, excuse me, four skills on their tank. But you know, I just want to say, my T95 crew is an absolute beast, and I will blow you up. And yeah, <laughs> this. I just love this tank so much. I know it's slow and ungodly. It, well, I don't want to say it turns slow. Uh, the the clutch breaking skill that I have on my driver makes this thing much more survivable because it gives it the ability to turn quicker and bring that massive gun around to protect itself from enemy mediums. I mean, if they still get the jump on me, I'm still screwed anyway because, you know, this thing is a mammoth and it takes forever to get it anywhere. So, but other than that, I like this tank. It's awesome. In my opinion, best tier 9 tank destroyer. Better than the 704, better than the Yag Tiger. So, yeah. Most recent addition to my garage, the Panzer 8. Mouse, 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 mouse. I'm gonna call it mouse because the achievement for killing ten of these things is mouse trap. Uh, I never thought I would be going in any other nation of tanks other than American. I would just primarily stick to American tanks, but I was curious. You know, I wanted to see how this thing drives. It's a whole nother breed of tank. Uh, armor everywhere you know there's no weak point in terms of you know weak armor because everywhere it's incredibly thick armor what sort of makes it sucks to drive is that everyone knows how to kill it <laughs> you know the weak spots on the cheeks of the turret you know the mud flaps here the center there uh, the large silhouettes, if I, if you go in on me flat, you'll be able to penetrate my sides. Um, also, I just got this tank, so I'm not really familiar on how to drive it. You know, uh, I'm, I'm learning a little bit, but it's, it's, it's a difficult tank to drive because it, there's a lot of disadvantages with having a mammoth tank on the field aside from being a priority target for artillery. Um, if a low profile tank parks up on my sides and he has enough penetration to get through my side armor, he's pretty much got me because I can't aim down low enough to shoot him, which kinda sucks. Um, and the penetration isn't nearly as great as my 110, which is kinda sad. However, the gun is very accurate and I'm still learning, you know. One of these days I'll master this thing and, you know, I'll be an unstoppable force on the battlefield. I've had a few good matches in it. Uh, yeah, you know. I won't go over the M103. Uh, it's pretty much the same as the 110, you know, it's got super heavy frontal armor and very highly sloped turret it's really hard to hit the turret on this thing unless it's you're like hitting 
the back side and rear part of the turret where, to, where it's weakest. It's a tricky tank to kill. Uh, that much I'll say. Uh, same gun you get on the 110 except with a lower rate of fire, same penetration, same damage. Uh, it's it's a fun tank to play. I find it in some situations a tougher tank to kill than the 110 because it doesn't have that freaking whomping sore thumb on the top of the turret called the commander's hatch. Yeah, it's 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 a good tier nine. Uh, very good competitor for tier nine. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Um, the M18 Hellcat. Very tier six tank destroyer, released in the update. Um, this is a fun tank to drive even though it's unbalanced to all recognition it plays nothing like it should but even with all the nerfs and unbalanced parameters as the devs say on this tank it's still really really fun to drive it goes incredibly fast currently the fastest tank destroyer in the game 72 game engine limit although historically this thing should be doing like like 96 I think also, hand crank turret speeds make it to where this thing is impossible to flank with unless you, like, plan it out. Yeah, it's... <sighs> Paper armor, you know, you got no armor protection, so you gotta use your speed to avoid anything. And the open hat, the open turret doesn't make it any better for... You know, people slinging high explosives at you. But, 90mm gun does what it needs to do for tier 6. It's a fun tank to drive. I certainly won't get rid of it. It's too fun. Too fun. I like it. Uh, I'll go over this last. VK4502 Ossif B, aka the Baby Mouse. Um. Initially, I skipped this tank just to grind up to the mouse, but then I bought it back because, you know, I was my friends told me this is a really fun tank to drive, and I have to agree with them. I don't have it elited yet. I still need the top engine. Uh, 128 millimeter or the 12.8 centimeter gun is the same gun you get on the mouse. It's a pretty accurate gun. Rear mount turret design kind of makes it a trick to drive. Uh, and the problem with German heavies is that their engines get damaged very frequently. So, and you know, I don't need, I don't need this tank to be slower than it is because it's ungodly slow compared to the rest of my tanks. But yeah, it's a pretty fun tank to drive. You know, I don't think the E75 is a dominant tier 9 over this. Because I've killed my share of E75s with it already, and I haven't had it that long. Uh, statistically, it does have better frontal armor, but the E75 has a more angled armor plate on the front, making it seem like it has better armor, but by the numbers, this thing has better armor except for the sides but the sides are still pretty good 100 millimeters side and rear um, yeah it's it's a pretty fun tank I actually enjoy playing it I haven't had it for very long but I can already say I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this tank and last but certainly not least the T92 American Artillery it's a very, very powerful artillery. Currently the highest damaging gun in the game. Pulling out a maximum of 2813. Although, you know, with HE, you're probably never going to see that number. Uh, what can I say about this? Mixed feelings about it. Gun is great. Accuracy and reload time are utter shit. I 
sometimes pull my hair out with the accuracy of this gun. I can be completely zeroed in on a tank and still miss by a long shot, by a complete mile, and like barely splash him. But if I get a direct hit, if you're not dead, you're going to be hurting in the hugest way. That's how it works. Um, this is a question for armor piercing rounds. Have I hit anyone with them? Yes, I have. And let me just say, just like HE, if you're not dead, you are going to be hurting in the hugest way. I mean, problem with AP rounds is that no splash whatsoever. Um, so if you miss, you 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 just completely wasted a round because you didn't even splash them, which is what this thing does best. You rely on splash damage more than anything else to do damage with this tank or this artillery. As such, any T92 driver will tell you if you can get past the ungodly long reload speed and inaccuracy of this tank, the damage that it can do will more than make up for it. And uh, I, I agree with them. It's pretty good. Alright. I think about that. that. That about does it for my tanks. I'll go over my stats real fast. Sorry, this video is really long, but I got a lot to show. Okay, I'll try and be quick. I got 60, 6,700 battles, 49% uh, win rate. This is because I find this to be pretty good because mostly, most like 99% of these matches are pubs. Like my clan really doesn't do a lot of clan wars. I mean, we do, but not really enough to make a difference. I've destroyed 7,200 tanks, maximum destroyed in battle with my Hellcat 8, although my T95 has 8 kills as well, but this overlapped it for some reason. Overall hit ratio 63%, damage 8,480,000. Uh, average experience per battle 563, like I said, this is primarily because these are pub matches. I find this to be pretty good considering... Uh, maximum experience in battle is 2,098 with my T110. Um, it's pretty good. I got the mastery badge for the 110, uh, T34, T82, M18 Hellcat, and uh, a bunch of other mastery badges from other stuff. I got the. See, I'm learning. You know, mastery badge one for the mouse. You know. I'm learning how to drive it. Statistically, my best tank, I'm winning more than I'm losing with it. Like I said, 75% hit ratio, maximum destroyed in battle. I destroyed a lot of tanks with this bad boy. I just freaking love the 95. It's my favorite tank. Um, see, I got two Halen's medals. I'm assuming that's how you say that. Six Bolter's medals and... Uh, I'm not even going to try and say that. Two of those medals. 46 Top Guns, 30, 13, 13 Invaders, 36 Scouts, 7 Defenders, 18 Confederates, 190 Steel Walls, and 190 Snipers. Also, back to the 95, if you can find someone who has, like, even at least one Invader. I got five in mine. That just shows you I'm a beast. <laughs> it's fun, you know thing is slower than balls so it takes forever to get it anywhere so if you can get on the base and cap it with a 95 that's pretty awesome I just wanted to share that um sharpshooter 45 6 reaper 11 hunters 2 mouse traps I got invincible this thing was hard as hell to get by the way master tanker 28 Master Gunner, 6 Kamikazes, and you all know what these are, so I'm not going to go over them. Um, I'd say that that about does it. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video.
comment, rate, subscribe, do what you need to do. Um, if you have any questions regarding my tanks, you, you want to know anything more about uh, what I do, comment down below. You know, I'll happily answer your questions. But this is Arcade CA and Arcade 1000, and everyone, good hunting. I hope to see you on the battlefield.